Hey there, my name is Seth Edwards, and this is my life on paper, so let's get started. To begin, I want to talk about where I came from. I was born on November 14, 2000 in the Scripps Encinitas Hospital, and have since spent the entirety of my life in a three-bedroom house in Carlsbad. I'm currently 19 and live at home with my mom, Lisa, who is 54, my dad, Larry, who is 58, and my younger sister, Grace, who is 15. I have been, and probably always will be, an introvert. At a young age, I was very shy and not very outgoing, but that didn't stop me from making the most of life. The first school I ever went to was Aviera Oaks Elementary, a public school within walking distance of my house. It was here that I learned to read and write in a half-day kindergarten class. Between you and me, I may have even had a little crush on my teacher, but we won't mention that to anyone else, right? Anyway, I stayed at Aviera Oaks until first grade. When my mom became concerned at the lack of care the staff showed toward the children. One day, I came home from school with scratches on my face, but little did she know, these scratches were caused by a kid named Jose. He kicked a soccer ball towards me from the other side of the field as I ran to catch it. I succeeded in the act, but upon catching the ball square in the gut, I blacked out and fell over, scraping my face on a small rock. When I came to, I was lying on the ground wondering how the heck I got there. To this day, I still wonder what that must have been like from Jose's perspective. After that incident, I was sent to a small private school by the name of Valley Christian at the start of second grade. With a student population of around 150 and a class size of no more than 20 per grade, it was here that I met some of my lifelong best friends. To name one, Justin Choi is someone I keep in contact with on a daily basis and I very much cherish our friendship. It was during this time in my life that I also took on a sport. I tried several things when I was little, including soccer and even gymnastics, but neither one stuck with me, at least not in the way it should have. I'll always remember how scarring my gymnastics coach was. At the end of the class, he spun you around a bar and would not stop spinning you until you smiled. It was so torturous that it was almost impossible to smile, but when your life depends on something, you eventually find the strength to do it. What did stick with me, however, was martial arts. When I was 8 years old, I took a free trial class with Swift Kick Martial Arts and I loved it. Swift Kick is a mixed martial arts class pulling the most practical pieces from various forms of the arts into a curriculum focused solely on self-defense. It also gives you a good workout, and I can't tell you how many times I came home drenched in sweat, especially my black belt test. At age 14, I earned my junior black belt, and 3 years later, at age 17, I earned my first degree black belt. It may have taken 9 years of hard work, but to this day that is still one of my greatest accomplishments in life. I spent about another year and a half with my black belt before it came time to part ways with the sport, but by taking up 10 years of my life, I can't deny that it is a massive part of who I am today. Speaking on that idea, how did I get into making YouTube videos today? Well, this is a funny story actually, and it might not be what you expect. After I graduated Valley Christian School in 2015, my parents enrolled me at Classical Academy High School. Because this was a charter school and I didn't live in Escondido, I did not get admitted into the school campus for the first year. In order to have my name in the system for a chance to get in the following year, I had to partake in online classes. While I'm not a huge fan of online learning, it did give me plenty of free time. Back in the day, I spent countless hours playing Clash of Clans, and after watching a number of videos, I installed a screen recorder on my jailbroken iPod Touch and decided to make some videos of my own. Under the channel name Acid Explosion, I published dozens of Clash videos, some of which have even reached a shocking 3,000 views today. However, high school was not just the place where I began my YouTube journey. High school was a true period of growth and transformation for me, and it all began with the ministry at my church, North Coast Calvary Chapel. Because of the people I met there in freshman year, I found a voice for myself. I was no longer a shy little kid, and I felt loved and accepted by those around me. The high school ministry also called me out and opened my eyes to the necessary changes I needed to make in my life if I was to become the man I so desired to be. Sophomore year was when things began to change very rapidly. I already had a car at 15 and a half, and when I turned 16, I got my license in a month and a job within five. For my first job, I was a food and beverage associate at Legoland, California, which means that I basically just worked in a restaurant. It was a great first job with some nice benefits like free tickets and 30% off food and retail, 
but due to its constantly shifting hours of operation, it meant that I could only work on weekends, a problem that manifested greatly when I got to college. Another major turning point in my life was when I set out to make weekly vlogs. After taking a video production class my junior year, I realized there were a lot of things I could learn and a lot of improvements I could make on my editing and cinematography. So that's when I decided to make at least one e video every week to do just that. However, the vlogs did so much more than just improve my skills. They opened me up even further, and I oftentimes found myself stepping out of my comfort zone for many of my videos. They pushed me to meet new people and make new friends. They pushed me to love myself and not be embarrassed by what others might think, which when I had my friends vlog, that was a challenge for them. And most importantly, they served as a constant reminder of everything I have done and everyone that I have had an impact on, no matter how big or small. Senior year of high school was the best one by far, and as I have moved on to Palomar College with the goal of transferring to Azusa Pacific University for a career in the film industry, I will never forget how transformational high school was for me. For the last part of this video, I want to talk about one of my current goals and aspirations for the future. I believe that it is important to set goals and dream big in order to experience a major sense of accomplishment when those dreams finally become a reality. For as long as I can remember, the Ford Mustang has always been my dream car. As soon as I got my first job at Legoland, I wanted to save every penny for a brand new Mustang. However, the car that I had at the time, my 1999 Honda CRV, gave out on me when I had only reached $11,000. If I was going to buy a new car, and I didn't have and wasn't making enough to afford a brand new Mustang, I still wanted a car that would be fun to drive. Thankfully, Brett's love of cars rubbed off on me and persuaded me to buy an Infiniti G35. Not to mention, the G35, being a V6 with 280 horsepower, is a great intro to a sports car. Although this purchase did set my account back to square one, now that I have landed a job at Chick-fil-A and am working 36 hours a week on average, my goal of purchasing the brand new 2023 Mustang GT is back in full swing, and I may be able to achieve it in much less time than originally anticipated. Well, that about sums up the last 19 years of my life. If you learned anything new that you found interesting, I would love to hear it, so feel free to leave a comment down below. If you truly enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, leave a like and be sure to subscribe. Well, without further ado, I guess that's going to end off this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.